สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Thai Toys and my name is Palm. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about 10 weird things about Thailand. Friend of mine find out this kind of thing is weird for your guys' point of view. But for me personally, as a Thai and every Thai people, not thinking like this is the weird thing at all. So if you're ready, just sit back and relax and explore together. Woo! Number one, don't clean in New Year. We believe that in New Year we should not clean our house or wash any stuff because that means we wash and clean the good luck and also the money wealthy everything the successful in that year so if we want to clean our house or our clothes we will do it before at the end of the year and you know as a Thai, I'm still confused because we have Songkran, which is our Thai belief that it's our New Year days. And also, we still believe in New Year at the end of December, just like every single one of you guys. So for me, it's kind of confused a little bit. That's why I include those two New Years and believe from those two to not clean our house on New Year. <laughs> Second, have beer with ice is totally normal and i was surprised at the first time when a foreigner say like why you have beer with ice that's gonna ruin off the beer flavor but as a thai is a hot country right we have everything with ice our dessert our coke our drink everything we have to put ice in it because it's very very hot here do you agree with me or not? Number three, work hard culture. You might heard this kind of culture in Japan, but actually it's happened in Thailand as well. For example, if you work in the office and then it's the time that you have to finish work five o'clock and you pack everything up, you go right away at five o'clock. People are gonna look at you and that's a bad sign that your leadership not gonna get your points because they thought that you're not portray or working hard enough. Yes, that's right. And including with lunchtime, but when you come to work, you have to come early. <laughs> And also when you ask for the day leave, when your holidays or even though it's not a work hour, you finish work already, right? And then your leader might contact you around 10 or 11 at night and you still have to answer and still someone still have to support the work. My friend, just for example, she have to bring her laptop when we go travel together to like still support and working even though she asked for the day leave. Number four, animals worship or holy animals. In Thailand, holy animals play a big role in Thai culture. For example, in the past, when a king have to go do a war, they will bring a nice and strong elephant to be the leader. And that could bring courage to Thai people. And also, we believe elephant is a holy animal and also is the national animal of Thailand. Or so in the ceremony or the royal ceremony, we will use an elephant in the ceremony and also a cow as well we'll use like a nice cow as we have our special day called one put mongkon or royal plowing ceremony to like start the season of growing rice and fortune how the planting in this year gonna be so we have some kind of thing for a cow to pick to eat right and then after a cow pick to eat that's kind of tell in each year which kind of plant gonna growing well in each year and people kind of know ahead that oh this year i should plant rice or this year i should plant food something like that or even in some area they have this kind of ceremony as well when it's not raining they bring a cat <coughs> to like ask for the rain from the sky yeah it's like mostly we'll see this kind of thing in Isan area that they have this kind of traditional they believe that a cat can ask for the rain because if they plant the rice right it's important to have water to grow up the rice and also some of family have this kind of belief too if you eat a fish and then fish bones stuck in your throat just use the pound of the cat like scratch into it just gently and then it will disappear uh? yes it <laughs> sounds weird but actually have someone believe that number five believe in auspicious day it just relate to the last one but this one we believe in the auspicious day mean 
when you're gonna buy a house you're gonna go ask for june taylor which day that should i announce the house and become living there officially or even buy a car which day i should buy it or dry it out in the first day we believe in this so many relating thing or even open the new business or do something that important or even the wedding day most of the thing we believe in auspicious day or even someone ever heard about the auspicious color that mean if we have like a big day coming for example i have the work interview i will search like i will born on wednesday and which color is will bring me luck and will get me a work or something like that we have in each day that you were born for example you were born on monday and your day color is yellow like in each day we have our own kind of color and me personally i were born on wednesday and my dead color is green that's for the example number six stand up when the thai national autumn plays whatever you're doing people will stop not moving just stand up and listen to the song and the song will open only two times a day at eight o'clock and six o'clock in the evening no matter where you go mostly you will see this thing in sky train station or subway or some public area people are not gonna do that when they sit at home and suddenly stand up it's not work like that but mostly when we at our outside or around school government area you will usually hear thai national autumn one time i remember i went to siam paragon and then it's six o'clock in the evening and they play the thai national autumn song right thai people will just stop walking and freezing stand up like that most of foreigners were like shocked and surprised like what are we doing why are we not moving and some people even laugh at us <laughs> yeah here is the thing that you might find that weird but it is actually our normal stuff number seven thai nickname yes every single one of thai people were born with the nickname that our parents will give for example my name is palm that's my mom gave it to me and some people might have some kind of random name that you guys talking about it online just for someone named printer or gun or p or <laughs> a lot of weird name that when it turns in thai it makes sense or even porn yes actually porn is mean holy in thai language but when you translate in english it might sound inappropriate yes like that have you ever heard some kind of weirdest nickname ever in thailand or not please let me know down below i'm really excited to hear that because as a thai i thought every name is normal it's just like ice condo benz <laughs> it's totally normal for me number eight different dialects in thailand in each part of thailand either central eastern area south northern part of thailand we have our own dialects and some word or some sentence we don't understand each other or even though the tone or the sounds of speaking is totally different and if you want to learn thai i suggest you to learn the central tone of thai because that can apply to every area of thailand but some certain part some people might have isan wife right and then he learned from her and that's a good thing but sometimes people in another part of thailand don't understand some word or it might be difficult to understand the the tone or the sounds especially when you learn in thai it's more like change from the original a lot that's why number nine don't open an umbrella inside inside mean inside your house inside your room inside your place whatever that have the roof to cover we call that inside because we believe that will bring a bad luck or even someone believes that you can see a ghost under an umbrella because i remember back then like when i was young they have the movie show out that if you open an umbrella inside you can see a ghost but actually i tried that but i never see that so maybe it's a lie right <laughs>
Number 10, food vendor never closed. You can confirm me with this if you ever come to Thailand. It's happened everywhere, but mostly in the tourist spot or in Bangkok. But in the rural area, they might have some. But mostly 7-Eleven will open 24 hours. You can go whenever you're hungry. That means people say like Thailand is a country of lively because we never sleep. No matter what you want, anytime you can go out and still fight it and plus it's safe and for one last thing i want to add this form bonus to bangkok have our official names every single one of thai people know that actually bangkok in thai word just like you guys know as it's not the full name of Bangkok and I remember that when I searched about that they said it's the longest city name of the world and if you guys don't know maybe you can search about that but for me personally I'm gonna tell you right now it's called กรุงเทพมหานครอมรรัตนโกสินทร์มหินทราอยุธยามหานิโรภพนพลัตราชธานีบุรีรมย์อุดมนิเวศมหาสถานอมรพิมานอวตารสถิตสักกะทัตยะ